Apart from bootable disks, you can run an operating system alongside Ubuntu using a virtual machine. A virtual machine is like having another computer inside your real computer. You can even choose to install Windows on a virtual machine and run it inside Linux. We will use VirtualBox to do this. The first step is to download VirtualBox from the software center and launch it. Then click on New to configure a new virtual machine. Enter the name you want to give to this machine, then choose the operating system you want to run, the version you are going to install, and click Next. Select how much RAM memory you want to assign to the virtual machine. For the system to run fast, select as much memory as possible, but stay on the green portion of the slider otherwise your real machine might not have enough memory. On the next window, click on Startup Disk and choose Create a New Disk. The file type will be fine if you choose VDI. Choose another option if you want to. Dynamically allocated storage means that your disk image will increase if you need more space. It's a good idea to choose that. Then, you'll decide what is the maximum size of the hard drive of your virtual machine, depending on your needs and on how much free space you have on your real hard drive. Then, verify the information and create your virtual machine. Once the configuration is done, you can click on Start. The first time you run your virtual machine, it will ask where the operating system of this machine is located. If it is a disk image downloaded from the internet, select the ISO image or select a CD if the system is on a CD. Now the virtual machine will work as if it was a second computer. I'd like to mention also another software that can run Windows applications without having to install Windows. This software is called Wine. Keep in mind that Wine tries to emulate a Windows environment, but it's not perfect. Some applications will work fine, but not all of them. To know more about it, visit the site www.winehq.org. We have finished the tutorials about features and customizations of Ubuntu. Thank you for following this tutorial and visit our website for more information about free, communal and sustainable technologies.